Tally ho, everybody! This is A Heap of Games Adam speaking. Now, I hope you're enjoying the new Bounce Wars series. It's just gone up at the same time that this video has gone up, and I just generally hope you enjoy the rest of it. Thank you so much to everyone that's contributed. 64 people have given in intros and sometimes robots for this series, so it's absolutely wonderful. It's taken about nine, ten months for me to to get it up, but I think it's I think I think it's been worth the wait. It's I'm I'm happy with it. That's all I can really say. I'm happy with it, and I hope you are too. And I hope you your robot does well. If it doesn't, then please don't yell. I can't help it. Right, so, on to business. Series 3 will be the obvious conclusion to Series 2. And there needs to be rules set for this time around. Because I'm not going to make your robots for you this time. It has to be down to you. Which could mean that I only get, like, ten people putting robots in but hey ho right there's a video up at the same time as this one to show you how to make a robot if you if you don't know how to if you get stuck at any point during that video just send me a message as well i'll try to help you as through it as best as i can but it's nice and simple nice and easy so feel free to go make your own robot and send it in to me there are six rules to band towards series three when you when you're entering so don't make a robot until you've understood these rules now, I will be putting the rules in the description as well, so if you don't want to listen to me blather on about them and just want to read them yourself, they're in the description. But I shall read you to them as well, just to get my points across and to further establish what the, the rules mean. First rule, 20 to, 20 to a minute intro, as I've typed it wrong there, so 20 to 60 second intro for your robot, and this, can be aud and this is meant to be audio and video. So, to further elaborate, it used to be just 40 seconds I wanted, but I thought I'd give it a bit more leeway. So, between 20 seconds and a minute, I want your intro to be give or take one or two seconds. Any more, any more than that, if you're 15 seconds or 65 seconds, I'll be sending your intro back or asking if I can edit it down. Okay, so between six, 20 and 60 seconds. Audio and video. That's accepting still images. So you don't have to film something, you can put a series of still images. Um, audio. You can put just music as long as in your video there's information. The idea of the intro is just so we get to know you and your robot because you'll be introducing it, you'll be making it look good and making the, the show look good because the show can only be successful if every part of it looks good. So the intros are a big part of that. I'm sure if you're watching the actual Bantua series, you get some great intros in there. It really adds to it. So I'd love for you to give your intros in with your robot. If you don't have an intro, then I'm sorry, I can't enter your robot. Rule number two. Now we're starting to get into the robot rules here. No gut rippers. You'll notice that a lot of the experienced uh, Robot Arena 2 users will make these weapons called gut rippers. Now they're like... Um, Flippers that are on a wedge that flip up like that and have like twin spikes on the end of each bar that flips up. I don't want that. That's overpowered and it's annoying. So no gut rippers, please. You can have flippers with, with like one spike on the end or you can have one single bar with two spikes at the end but no like lines of gut rippers. I just, I think it's, it ties into another couple of rules that I've got coming up now. And those are rule number three. No one-hit KO bots or similar. And by similar, I mean no two-hit KO robots or three-hit KO. Because it's not entertaining when you get a robot and it just goes, bang, dead, game over. Band Wars is about entertainment. And this goes on to another rule, so I'll go on to that in a minute. Rule number four, no weapon racks. And in brackets, no more than three spikes on any side of the robot, etc. An example is Heavy Steel Terror from the Challenge Belt, where it had the robot, and then it had about ten axe heads or spikes on the front of the robot, all in a line. Again, like Gut Rippers, overpowered. I don't want to see overpowered robots. I want them to be nice and entertaining, not freaking the equivalent of I've got the biggest dick in robot in the robot world. You know, make these robots entertaining. I don't want to see weapon racks. But you, I'll, I'll let you put like three spikes or three different types of weapon on each side maximum. Any more than that and I'll consider it a weapon rack and your robot will be disqualified. 
Raw number five ties into Raw number three quite closely. Robot must be built with entertainment in mind, not who can win the fastest, etc. So things like gut rippers and weapon racks just ruin the fun. I don't want th- the competition to be a collection of 10 second battles um, like the challenge belt became. That's why I haven't done any challenge belt recently because all the robots that were being entered were these machines that were designed to kill you in the matter of seconds. I want entertainment to be the prime thing here and I don't want the game tech modders, sorry to pick on you all, I don't want you putting in robots that will just wipe out robots entered by people who are beginners in 10 seconds. I want them to have fun as well. You know, I want robots to be quite equal, quite an equal footing. So when you're making a robot, just build it with entertainment in mind. And that is the fifth rule. Robots must be built with entertainment in mind. Don't go building bloody absolute monsters. Yeah, I mean, you can to an extent. Just no weapon racks, no gut rippers. Just make it good, but fair to beginners. Just keep beginners in mind here. I mean, build them to defeat the beginners, but within not within the space of 10, 20 seconds, please. And the final rule is we're on stock components. The, the wiki decided it, so you'll notice in the tutorial video I download um, Robot Wars 2 version 1.4. Now, that's, that's the one I think we'll be using. So the problem would be if you didn't use that, if you had, had a modded one, you could send me the robot with the intro and all that, and then it just crashes my game or it, my game doesn't work with it. And then I'll just send it back and say, OK, you have to do a new intro, new robot. So stock components, that's all we're having. OK, so those are our six rules. And I hope you abide by them so we can all have a nice, lovely Series 3 roundup. I don't know how many robots I'm going to get. I'm recording this before submissions are open, obviously. So those are your rules. I'll put them in the description. Just at the end of the day... This is for fun. We're not showing off how good we can make a robot. We're entering a robot that we think will be entertaining to a wide audience to help people get into Robot Arena 2. Not just watch the series, but also get interested in Robot Arena 2 and maybe play it themselves. Okay? Lovely. This has been A Heap of Games, Adam speaking, and this has been your rules video for Bant Wars Series 3. Go check out the tutorial as well if you need help with that. And go watch the show, enjoy it, leave your feedback, because feedback's special to me. I'd like your feedback. And thank you again for everyone who entered Series 2 and gave your intros in. I hope to see you in Series 3. Tra toodle pip toodle and cheer 3 o. Goodbye.